Behind Hurricane Aaron, there are additional prospects for development as we get up into the main part, the prime time in the hurricane season. The statistical peak of hurricane season is September 10th. And uh, as we take a look at two prospects for our next storms, one a little farther west, near 50 degrees west longitude, is approaching an area not too far from where Aaron first formed. This system is going to likely be held in check in the short term, encountering some wind shear keeping it a little bit disheveled, a little bit disorganized for maybe the next day or so. But by Friday and into the weekend, we are likely to see this system organize and form uh, and follow a path generally similar to where Aaron traveled north of the Caribbean. It's going to hit a brick wall, though. Most likely it will curve more abruptly to the north and northeast and get shunted out to sea by a similar trough that impacted Aaron, really the same trough that scooped up Aaron and curved it. It's going to encounter this storm farther southeast, so this one will not make it as close uh, to the U.S. as Aaron did. Farther east, there's another tropical wave that's even a bit more robust. In the short term, this one may potentially beat the western storm uh, to take that F name as the sixth name storm. Uh, and this one a little closer to 30 degrees west longitude, a little bit closer to the African coast. Still moving westward into the open water of the Atlantic, this one is more likely to organize with a little bit less of a sheer speed bump in its short-term future. Uh, but this one will eventually battle some dry air. So we need to keep a close eye on both of these systems. Both could become named. Neither of these look like an imminent risk to lives or property for any land masses.